Hello. This video is part two in a series. For part one, please check the links in the description down below. In this video, we will discuss common troubleshooting steps that address the most frequent issues that customers experience with Megaport services. This video is aimed primarily at company and technical admins responsible for network troubleshooting. We will cover layer two issues along with helpful suggestions for best practices. Let's get started. You should be familiar with basic data center networking and have company or technical admin privileges on the Megaport portal. You will learn how to troubleshoot common problems with ports and virtual cross connects or VXEs. Megaport operates at layer two and below on the OSI model. Since we are unable to observe layer three protocols, troubleshooting these services can sometimes be a challenge. One of the most common problems with new VXEs is incorrect configuration. This will often appear as a successfully deployed VXE, but there may be traffic in just one direction. This may be caused by an issue with BGP establishment, VLAN configuration, or other incorrect configuration setting. If your new VXE fails to transmit or receive traffic as desired, please review our configuration guides as discussed previously. Again, they can be located at docs.megaport.com slash connections. Remember, the customer's equipment must be configured appropriately for the service as well. If a new VXE is not passing traffic as desired, please review the configuration guide for the service and be sure to check the customer interface for appropriate routing, VLAN, LACP, and BGP settings. Incorrect VLAN and LACP configuration are typically the most common problems we encounter when troubleshooting these types of connections. As stated previously, Megaport is a Layer 2 service provider. As such, we are unable to see your Layer 3 BGP session. If your port and VXE are up, then there may be a problem with your BGP session or your peer may be down. Checking your services on the Megaport portal can help determine the next troubleshooting steps. If your service is not performing as expected and you have ruled out maintenance or other plan changes, please feel free to reach out to Megaport support by opening a chat session with our customer support team. At their direction, they may request additional diagnostic information such as ping tests, trace routes, or iPerf testing. From time to time, you may experience a change in latency on your service as well. This is often caused by maintenance issues on the network and usually resolves once the maintenance completes. You can examine the current latency for your services by checking the Megaport portal. Then, you can compare that with historical data by checking our latency page. For more information on how to check the latency on your Megaport service, click the on-screen link or check the description down below. Ping works by sending an Internet Control Message Protocol, or ICMP, echo request to a specified interface on the network and wait for a reply. When a ping is issued, a ping signal is sent to a specified address. When the target host receives the echo request, it responds by sending an echo reply packet. This is useful for determining whether or not a specific IP interface is active and the echo from that interface is used to calculate the latency between the host and destination. Traceroute is a utility that records the route, the specific gateway computers at each hop, through the internet between your computer and a specified destination computer. It calculates and displays the amount of time each hop took. iPerf is a commonly used network testing tool that can create TCP and UDP data streams and measure the throughput of a network that is carrying them. The iPerf command allows the user to set various parameters that can be used for testing a network. This is the iPerf command with the options that Megaport recommends. It is iPerf C IP address dash B 1000 M dash T 900 dash U. Megaport recommends performing a 15 minute test on each side, the A client and BN server, then the BN client and AN server for a total of 30 minutes of testing and approximately 10 to 15 minutes between each test. This test must be run using UDP as the data streams must be used to measure throughput between the two ends of the connection without the overhead of TCP negotiation, congestion avoidance, and windowing. For more information on troubleshooting an existing VXE, please visit our docs portal at docs.megaport.com slash troubleshooting. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Megaport is here to help and collaborate. We strive to provide world-class customer service and ensure that you have a great experience.
please see the description down below for direct links to useful information. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. The Voice of Megaport.